Well, good evening. I hope you can hear me out there. <laughs> this is the first time I've had this kit out for a long time. Hopefully you can see me down there as well, actually. Um, waiting for a few people to join. We'll get going in just a few minutes. If you want to pop a message in and then we'll see who's here. Can you let me know if you can hear me or not? It'd be great to know that you can hear me. I have been known to do, do sessions and uh, <laughs> talk for 10 minutes and get a message to say that uh, nobody could hear me. Because uh, I didn't turn the microphone on or something rather silly like that. I'll be honest, I haven't actually live streamed uh, for quite a long time. So um, it's all a bit, I'm a bit rusty. I'll be honest with you, I'm a little bit rusty. Uh, we can zoom in there, which we've got a bit of control. I can remember how to work the button. So we're here at the moment on our cardboard Coventry Cathedral that we built, as you saw in that previous shot, on a primary school playground in Coventry. Um, oh, we've got a comment. Who's that comment from? Is that a comment? Hello, you can hear me. Hello, Gavin. Gavin Nation from Devon. Fantastic, Gavin. We're going to hear from you tonight as well. Don't you worry. <laughs> no such thing as a, as a Steam Co sponsor. So we're going to hear from Gavin Nation. We've got Gavin down there in uh, in Devon. That's fantastic. I should probably zoom in a bit, shouldn't I? What? How do I do that again? Let's sort of think. Let's press that button there. Is that going to zoom in? That zooms in over there. Okay, that's right. So we've got a big stage over the other side. So this is. I'm going to be sad to see the back of this. I don't think we will see the back of this though. I think we'll be using this quite a lot actually as time goes by. Um, this has been a really, really fantastic set. Uh, we've had a lot of fun on this on this set here. Uh, as I say, in a what is essentially <laughs> a cardboard commentary cathedral that as I say we built in the school playground here at Joseph Cash Primary a sign of rising against adversity um, after the war they built that when it was bombed and they stood up and they built it again and said we're not going to be defeated it wasn't a sign of defiance against the Germans as much as a sign of solidarity of community coming together and that's where we are tonight and in just a few minutes we're going to in fact Gavin's here I wonder if we should show his film actually do you know what? I think I'll show Gavin's film first. That'd be quite cool, wouldn't it? So let me just cut to that one there. And so here in that box up there, okay, so we've got an Elon Musk clip there. That's going to be coming up in a minute. I have to put the glasses on because the writing on this screen's quite small. Let's just play the video. This is, this is what this is all about. And you're going to see this referenced in, in the film. But this is a film about carers, um, about caring, people who care. It's a story about a granddad and a dad in Devon who sponsored a Steam Co session on last term's tour, which was actually all about Inspired to Learn, inspiring our children to be engaged and to learn and to do their best at school and, and if you like, catching up as best they can. Um, and that's what this, school's all, this film's all about. So let's just play this now while we get an audience together. I hope you enjoy this. This is live from Seaton in Devon. You can't hear it. Why can't we hear it? And that is literally a Coventry that we made out of cardboard, or did we? We didn't actually make it with real cardboard, we made it with virtual cardboard because we did it with a piece of software called Blender as a 3D programme that you can build 3D graphics with and that's all done in CGI. So if I press my button there and zoom out, it looks like I'm on that cardboard Coventry Cathedral but in fact, you all know that I'm just here in front of a green screen. We've now got these guys here in front of a green screen and you should be able to see them up on the screen there. Homer Hickam who wrote that book, he and his three friends made rocket after rocket and a year later they made a rocket that went six miles high in the sky. I think in a moment we'll break out and we'll sh you, you can make your own rockets but I'll give you some top tips. So you're going to make the body, you're going to make the nose, you're going to make the fins and you're all going to get these instructions Seal it all the way down. To make the nose, you're going to cut the template out and then roll it up. Okay, everybody, we've had a great day today. Your parents, your teachers, your community are here to help all of you find something you love. Something you love doing, that you can be passionate about. And I call it your art. So your art can be painting, photography, cooking, coding, robots, or today we're doing rockets. I made a film the other week about a granddad and a dad. And here I am in Devon, thanks to two very special people. And that's a granddad and that's a dad. They are what I call creative carers. They care about creativity, they care about everybody's children, and they care about all our future. What do you reckon for that, Mr. Nason? Pretty amazing, yeah. inspiring. Would you recommend that to other people to be part of it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. 
What do you reckon, Mr. Vine? Enjoy I that? think it's very good, and all the children seem inspired. And a fantastic uh, performance there by Titania, which is the house band of Parkins Primary, actually, down up there in Leeds. Uh, Luke and the team have let us use that song higher, lift you higher. It's a fantastic, fantastic song. Uh, we're here tonight for the launch of our Mission to Mars film. Uh, this is going to be one of the last times, actually, that we'll... Uh, Probably one of the last times that we'll be using our Coventry Cathedral stage for, for a while. Um, built from cardboard in the school playground at Joseph Cash Primary. And I'm delighted to say that this week we're actually going to be live streaming our launch event from Coventry's biggest primary school. A three form entry school um, have agreed just over this weekend actually to, to host our launch event. So that's going to be on Thursday. And if you don't know what's going on, if you haven't got a clue what this is all about, then um, I think we'd better get our, our main event going now because I want to show you what we're talking about and what this is all about here tonight. Let's um, hear about this dad, Elon Musk, and what he's got to say for himself or what he's been up to that's inspired us so much. This dad needs a million kids as soon as possible. When he was a kid, he read every book in the school library. He learned to code and made millions. Then Elon Musk decided to try and help save the world by building a massive solar panel company. He developed a three-phase plan and became the best electric car brand in the world. He proved an innovative concept for transporting people in tubes and flogged it to a British granddad. Then he decided to build a rocket, which blew up. So he built another, and that blew up. So he built another, and that one worked. Well, for a bit, but he stuck with it, and now it works. It launches and it lands to be used again. He's even building a robot to catch it now. Soon he'll be building a starship a week, then one every three days, till he has a thousand. Then he'll be flying them to the moon and beyond, to Mars, for 10 years, do the maths. A million people and a hundred megatons of kit on Mars in 30 years. He just decided to let another dad fly one of his rockets. Next Wednesday, Jared Isaacman goes to space, leading the SpaceX Inspiration4 mission with the first all civilian crew. You're gonna to go to space. Oh my God. A mission oh my God. representing prosperity, generosity, hope, and leadership. As well as give $100 million to a children's cancer hospital, they've helped me, another dad, build my own starship, and helped me inspire rocket kids across the world to be among those first million humans on Mars because we need to send a message to the universe that it's our art and creativity that Two, makes us human. One, ignition. So I'm launching Steamco's Mission to Mars session. First seen this summer at Camp Bestival. And at summer schools, both primary and secondary. Now we're hitting the road again, helping your kids aim as high as Elon. Higher than high. We'll build a green screen studio in your school and live stream an inspiring assembly as if from Mars across your school and into family homes. We'll bring along a few creative activities like rocket making and firing. Crafting cardboard Marscapes. Martian making. Coding, engineering, design. All wrapped up with a real dynamite rocket launch. Whoa! I came a teacher to try and make kids make that noise. I don't think I've seen that many children that excited ever before in my life. <laughs> They're brilliant. 
was amazing. It's for all UK schools and we'll have more free sessions if we can get more local sponsors like this car dealer in Devon. What do you reckon for that, Mr Nason? Pretty amazing. Yeah. Inspiring. Would you recommend that to other people to be part of it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. This is the best show of my life. Find out more on our website, check out the inspiration for Netflix series and download the flyer to book your place now. Innovation, technology and dreams rocking it to the, to the sky. The way you motivate children, you motivate the parents and everyone, you're raising the aspirations of those children, you're giving them possibilities, you're making their dreams come true. You achieve dreams, not just for some of our children today, grandparents, parents out there, they were inspired. The parent who took your book home is going to read that tonight. We've learned so, so much too. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Good. That's what education's about. It's creative, it's art, it's science, it's really pushing the children, challenging them to achieve. And I think that's gonna be a long, long time. time. So there you have it. <laughs> Quite shocked with that. I've got to be honest with you. Um, yeah, that was uh, a few days work putting that together, as I'm sure you can imagine. Um, and that's what it's all about. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about a tour of the UK. We're just going to schools all over the country. We haven't got the plan together yet because we need a few more sponsors, um, find some schools and maybe we've got some budget, catch up budget, whatever. But that's what we're going to do. Go into schools and run an all school assembly for a bubble in the hall. We're going to live stream it to the rest of the school and then to their community as well. And this Thursday, we're going to a fantastic school. That's the biggest primary school in Coventry, a three, four entry primary school in Coventry. We're going to do a live stream assembly to the whole of one of the years, year five. That's going to be live streamed to all the other classes. Then we're going to do creative activities and then we're going to do a dynamite rocket launch at the end of the day. <laughs> Tell me that that's not the best thing you've ever you've ever heard of in a primary school. So that's really what we're talking about. We are going to have a fantastic, fantastic time. We're going to do more of these sessions. As I say, this is probably going to be the last time you'll see our cardboard Coventry Cathedral stage for a while. Uh, because we're going to build a cardboard Mars scape and a base camp and we're going to use that as a set and we're going to get into the cardboard. As you saw there we're delighted for the support of a number of organisations uh, which you can see on the bottom of, of the slide here actually if I just cut to that. Um, bottom right hand corner there you've got LGFL who are the creative uh, technology, creative education solutions provider, John Jackson, Bob Usher, Laura Smith and the whole team there. Fantastic team who've helped us and been absolute rocks to us ever since we were in lockdown uh, and they helped us out massively. We've got um, Arts Council England who gave us emergency funding last year, Department of Digital, Culture, Media and Sport um, and their Culture Recovery Fund. We wouldn't be here without that and also most significantly the National Lottery who obviously fund the Arts Council but most importantly well not most importantly most significantly I think is that chap on the right there Jared Eisenman the commander the leader of the Inspiration4 mission and he has supported us he sponsored our tour last term and he has generously agreed to uh, to let us carry on with that support and to name check that support and he's off to space literally on Wednesday so they go to space the the time for the uh, for the the inspiration for launch is at the moment 8 p.m. Eastern Time. So that's 8 p.m. on the east coast of America. It's going off from the Kennedy Space Center at uh, 8 p.m. No earlier than, which is a bit of a bit of a bummer to use a technical phrase for us, because uh, basically what that means is it's actually going to be one in the morning, which is a little bit of a nuisance, but it's no earlier than that. So it could actually slip if there's a little bit of wind or some, the weather wasn't great or had some technical issues. It could slip. Now, I'm not going to wish any bad luck on that crew and that mission. I hope that everything goes absolutely according to plan. But if it does slip, then it slips into our time window. And it might just be that it is live when we're in that school in Coventry. Um, really, really nerve wracking, really exciting. But can't thank Jared Eisenman enough for his support, because basically he funded part of our tour, our Inspired to Learn tour that you saw on the uh, on the the video a moment ago and that enabled us to take this Coventry Cardboard Cathedral to schools around the UK. We went to Shropshire, we were at Ludlow Festival, Ludlow Fringe, schools in Shropshire for a while and then we went up to Leicester for the Rockets Around Leicester project. We want to reconnect with all those schools and he funded that camper van for us for a couple of weeks which is fantastic. So we now need sponsors. If you'd like to do what Gavin Nation did there and sponsor and support one of these days in a primary school then there are a number of ways of doing it. We've got some costs for the whole day. Um, 
and if you'd like to contribute to that or like to fund that, Gavin and actually co-funded that with uh, Paul Vine Electrics, actually, which is an electrical contractor in Seaton. So these aren't big businesses. These are small businesses. But we'd met Paul Vine at Camp Bestwood a few years ago and he absolutely loved what we're doing and said, I need this in my grandchildren's school. So we went up to, to Seaton and I think Beer actually had some kids there as well. So, um, yeah, and the plan, if anybody wants to know what the plan for Steam Co is and, this, and why we are doing this with Coventry Cathedral. Well, we're doing it with Coventry Cathedral because this year Coventry is the city of culture um, and they've had funding. They're running a whole load of events under Shunin Baltier and all the, the team and the crew there. It's been absolutely fantastic. And I actually went up to Coventry last weekend um, and I literally just popped up in the morning. And this is what Steam Co's about. What I want to do next year in 2022 is put 22 people like me, creative carers, mums, dads, students, retirees, whatever. We want to put 22 people like me on the road in the UK running um, what we call Steam Co Days, driving our pop-up truck along. And here's a little film that, uh, <laughs> a lovely little film I made at the Coventry Godiva Festival last weekend. That's right, check this out. No, we're not at Coventry. We are actually backstage at the Godiva Festival, setting up our disco tree and our Mission to Mars truck. And this lovely young man here, Dave, hey. just came over from the, the band, what was your band name again? Voodoo Kings. The Voodoo Kings. So what do you reckon to all this crazy stuff, Dave? I think Dave? it's great. Uh, it's, it's absolutely brilliant. How are you getting it? It's like great. You've got the disco ball, you've got the music, People, I think it's Bee Gees. It's all right, nothing wrong with that. Saturday yeah. night, it's, it's always time for the, the Bee Gees, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. And from what I understand, this is going to educate children, and I think that's wonderful. You know, my son's like in just about to go into year four. Um, is like, I love this. They'd absolutely love it. I so think so, it's so you're, you're based in Coventry, Dave? Oh, yes, yeah, yeah. We're so all... what, what do you think of the, the Coventry 2021 Festival, what those guys have been doing this year? It's, it's great. There's a lot of different, like a whole wide scale thing of like, there's a lot of different diverse ideas. Um, and I, I'm enjoying a lot of different things that I've seen so far. That's why I was drawn to this. Fantastic. What you and what do, you, what do you think about art and creativity in schools? Important or not so important as all the maths and all the academic stuff? Essential. Art, art and music is connected to the side of the brain that actually connects with maths. So, you know, if you want to be good at maths, then you get good at art, you know? Well, Dave, I didn't even know I was coming at nine o'clock this morning. You've just made it worthwhile. Thank you so much. <laughs> Elbow bump. <Welcome. laughs> nice one. Cheers. Dave there from the Voodoo Kings. Absolutely brilliant. Well, we're going to go into the auditorium now. We're going to go and see what people make of this nonsense. So see you in the mosh pit. <laughs> And I did go into the mosh pit and I did go into the festival. <laughs> I had a fantastic time. Um, so basically, this is all about, really, it's all about creativity. It's about inspiring our kids with creativity. Let's get rid of that black screen, blank screen. The writing's so small on here. Let's have a quick look there. And I'm going I'm to show you my other little, my other little fun one, actually, my uh, mirror balls on the tree there. Um, it's all about inspiring our kids with creativity and connecting our communities with schools. That's what Steam Co is all about. Helping our kids aim not just high, but higher than high, powered by their creativity, their art and their creativity, and powered by their communities. And when COVID lifts and communities can get more involved with schools, we hope that Steam Co will be absolutely on fire. And as I say, in the next few months, I'm trying to get three of these drop, Steam Co drop trucks on the road that contains everything you need to run a creativity day in a primary school. And next year, I'd like to get 22 on the road. So if you'd like to, to help fund that, then do get in touch. We need companies, creative carers, people who care, people in organisations who care about creativity, care about children and care about all our futures. This is not a crazy revolutionary thing. It's about grassroots connectivity, building community and reconnecting us with our creativity because it's our art and creativity that makes us human at the end of the day, isn't it? Um, you saw there the uh, the disco truck and the disco tree 21 hashtag disco tree 21 believe it or not i've got a mirror ball in here actually i've got one on the floor down there and i've got one hanging up here as well just above me on this cardboard pyramid stage if i can disconnect that oh i don't know if i can oh typical isn't it i didn't oh whatever there's another one down here just to prove i've got a ton of mirror balls there you go mirror ball heaven 
So if you like mirror balls, you'll love steam care. That's what we say. Um, and later, <laughs> later that night, Saturday night, I took that trolley out. And I don't know if you noticed or heard the music there, the Bee Gees, that's a little dub thing. That's a remix by Luxury, actually, Night Fever dub remix. And that trolley has actually got a car battery in it and an inverter and is able to actually play music um, totally remotely and lights. It's got mains power and everything on it. It's all good fun. So let me just show you what happened. Um, oh, we've got Mr. Miles, Mr. G. Miles from the Scottish borders. Hello, Mr. Miles. Let's put a shout out for you. Big thumbs up there for Mr. Miles. Now, he's a fascinating guy, really passionate, creative, inspiring man, teacher. He's just joined the Royal Society of Arts. He's a fellow of the RS, Royal Society of Arts, FISA. So it's lovely to see him check us out there. Fantastic. Thanks for dropping in. But check out what happened last Saturday night at the uh, Godiva Festival in Coventry when I just popped up with the uh, Steamco pop-up day drop truck. 20 seconds and counting. T-minus 15 seconds. Guidance is internal. 12, 11, 10, 9, ignition sequence start, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, all engine running, liftoff, we have a liftoff, 32 minutes past the hour, liftoff on Apollo 11. Sure that's either going to make you want to run a mile <laughs> from <laughs> whatever I'm up to or, or get me into your school. I don't know. What I'm going to do now is just play out. I've had some lovely little comments popped in from uh, Mr. Nation there and, and uh, Mr. Miles up there in Scotland. I know lots of people would retweet this. A lot of people off to bed early. They're in school tomorrow morning. All I can say is nothing but respect for our teachers and what we call our brave school leaders. School leaders, head teachers, school community leaders who understand and believe in the value of art and creativity to inspire children in their learning. Gary Spracklin down there in, in, um, in Dorchester at Prince Wells School has the phrase inspired to learn. That's where we got that from. You've got Chris Dyson up there on Parklands Primary up there on the Seacroft Estate in Leeds, who believes in empathy, believes in love, who believes in inspiration and not isolation. And he has a fantastic school, fantastic school community. And he's driven down exclusions as a result of his approach. Amazing, amazing school leaders and teachers all across the country. Pat, Patrick Otley O'Connor over there on the west side. You've got Stephen Logan over there on the east side in Hull. You've got leaders across the country, Northern Ireland, Scotland, England and Wales. And we want to connect with you all across this summer. Shout out today to Graham Andre, who's uh, got a big birthday today. 21 again, Graham, I think, isn't it? Thanks for all your support. Thanks to everybody for their support. And we hope that you'll tell everybody about our Mission to Mars 21 tour, all school assembly, creative activities and a real rocket launch to inspire our children to learn, to help them aim not just high, but higher than high. And I'll play out the film again just one final time. Thank you so much for joining me today on, as I say, what will probably be one of the last times that I'll be on our cardboard Coventry Cathedral. Here at Joseph Cash Primary School, Helen Nelson, the head teacher, who's collaborated with us for months now, connected us with schools across the city. And we can't wait to get back to Coventry this week with uh, Rani and the team up there in, in that school. I'm not going to name it just now, but we're, uh, we're finalising the details on that. But we're very confident what it's going to happen. So I am going to cut now back to our film that we launched tonight. If you didn't see it earlier, I hope you'll enjoy this now and tell us what you thought, what you think. Thanks for joining us tonight. Good night. This, Dad. <laughs>
needs a million kids as soon as possible. When he was a kid, he read every book in the school library. He learned to code and made millions. Then Elon Musk decided to try and help save the world by building a massive solar panel company. He developed a three-phase plan and became the best electric car brand in the world. He proved an innovative concept for transporting people in tubes and flogged it to a British granddad. Then he decided to build a rocket, which blew up. So he built another, and that blew up. So he built another, and that one worked. Well, for a bit, but he stuck with it, and now it works. It launches and it lands to be used again. He's even building a robot to catch it now. Soon he'll be building a starship a week, then one every three days, till he has a thousand. Then he'll be flying them to the moon and beyond. To Mars for 10 years. Do the maths. A million people and a hundred megatons of kit on Mars in 30 years. He just decided to let another dad fly one of his rockets. Next Wednesday, Jared Isaacman goes to space, leading the SpaceX Inspiration4 mission with the first all-civilian crew. You're gonna to go to space. Oh my God. A mission oh my God. representing prosperity, generosity, hope, and leadership. As well as give $100 million to a children's cancer hospital, they've helped me, another dad, build my own starship, and helped me inspire rocket kids across the world to be among those first million humans on Mars because we need to send a message to the universe that it's our art and creativity that Two, makes us human. One, ignition. So I'm launching Steenco's Mission to Mars session. First seen this summer at Camp Bestival. And at summer schools, both primary and secondary. Now we're hitting the road again, helping your kids aim as high as Elon. Higher than high. We'll build a green screen studio in your school and live stream an inspiring assembly as if from Mars across your school and into family homes. We'll bring along a few creative activities like rocket making and firing. Crafting cardboard Marscapes. Martian making. Coding, engineering, design. All wrapped up with a real dynamite rocket launch. Whoa! I came a teacher to try and make you to make that noise. I don't think I've seen that many children that excited ever before in my life. <laughs> They're brilliant. That was amazing. It's for all UK schools and we'll have more free sessions if we can get more local sponsors like this car dealer in Devon. What do you reckon for that, Mr Nation? Pretty amazing. Yeah. Inspiring. Would you recommend that to other people to be part of it? Oh, definitely. Yeah. yeah. This is the best show of my life. Find out more on our website, check out the Inspiration4 Netflix series and download the flyer to book your place now. Innovation, technology and dreams rocks to it to the, to the sky. When you motivate children, you motivate the parents and everyone, you're raising the aspirations of those children, you're giving them possibilities, you're making their dreams come true. You achieve dreams, not just for some of our children today, grandparents, parents out there, they were inspired. The parent who took your book home is going to read that tonight. We've learned so, so much too. Have you had a good time? Yeah. Good. That's what education's about. It's creative, it's art, it's science, it's really pushing the children, challenging them to achieve. And I think it's going to be a long, long time.